All right, go ahead. <laughs> Top of the morning, and salute to all the people that took their time to tap in with the show today. You already know what's going on. It's Right now, it's a two-man weave. Uh, it's the No Snooze Button Show, a morning show powered by the people for the people. Um, we appreciate y'all for tapping in. You know what's the vibes. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what's going on in your city and your town and your community so that we can keep y'all, everybody else informed. Um, also, tap in also to the Graveyard Shift. We had a dope collab with the JEB. J-E-B collab. Um, y'all know what's going on um, by any means. Uh, so it was a dope, dope conversation. And also shout out to the um, lovely host, Ari. She did a thing as well. Um, but yeah, it was a dope vibe. What's going on, man? What, what you get into, Dezo? What's the word? Talk to me, my guy. Yo, man. Um, hey, you know, it, it was it was a good, it was a good, uh, it was a good week, man. Uh, so it's another great Friday morning, you know what I'm saying? And we're ready to get into the weekend activities. Uh and you know, we just gonna just gonna get lit, man. We gonna we're gonna set it off right for y'all. Set it off right nah, for y'all was, this morning. It was um it was a little it was a little packed. I'm not gonna front. I want to start off real quick with a little bit of sports. I'm not gonna front. Um mm. yo, <laughs> John Calipari, man. Let me holler at you real quick, man. What's going <laughs> what? on, man? In, t- in Kentucky, John? bro. What's okay. happening in Kentucky, bro? You got fried by basically a guy that says, like a good neighbor, stay for like you got fried by a real estate agent, bro. <laughs> he went insane on you. He went Jimmy for debt mode. That shit was insane. Shout out to Oakland um getting Kentucky out of there. Also, mm-hmm. shout out to um the Wolfpack, NC State. Yo, there's this kid, DJ Horn. He is tough. Tough, yeah, tough, yeah. tough. He remind me of Malik low key. Like he remind me of Malik Monk. Like he's like not as like bouncy, but he's he don't like got that athleticism. Huh? Yeah, he don't yeah, got yeah. Malik that athleticism. But he yeah, he don't got, yeah, but he dope. You see what I'm though? No, he foot placement, like he know how to move it out the ball. Son is like they got that big uh what's her name? Was it Burns? I forgot his first name. That big he remind me of Damo. Or dread that drop step of <laughs> doom just go. It was a dope. Yeah. It was a dope first round. Big, big fella, dope. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. I, I had them. I got NC State going to the Elite Eight. Yeah, yeah. low key. I, I think I got them go to the Elite Eight. Um, yeah. uh, I had my upset. My upset wasn't Kentucky. My upset was uh, Long Beach State. So I call. I called the wrong upset, but I had to. You know, I knew that. I know there's gonna be at least one or two of them. Of course, you know course. what I'm saying. So, but not but that guy. Wrong upset. Out of all, <laughs> he called though. He was. He was hitting yeah. them. I'm not gonna hold you. They drop you. Gotta let it rock. But mm-hmm. um, Rob Dillingham. I'm not gonna front, man. I think he might have to. I mean, I know he's gonna go. I know he's gonna go to the A off, off rip. But I think he should stay one more. Yeah, at least. Just to get that, you know what I mean? Like a little bit of development, you know, control of the pace of the offense, things like that. Like I think, although he's explosive and, you know, the opportunity, he can ob- obviously capitalize and take care of his family. But I think just for basketball's sake, I think he should stay one more year. Low he won't. Yeah. I know. I already know. I already know. Yeah. I already know. It was just um, basketball. I just, you know, because it go both ways with that shit, bro. Like sometimes you see somebody and you be like, man. It's time. It's you know, stick around. But then you see other cats and it's like, bro, you need to get up out of there. That's true. That's like, true. Man. like, um, I'm gotta pretty be sure. In space. I'm pretty sure. sure uh, uh, text. I'm, I'm pretty sure you probably remember uh, CJ Fair and CJ Leslie mm-hmm. from Syracuse and NC yes, State. Yes, sir. CJ Fair was left handed, right? Left. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. If you if you remember them two, those are two prime examples of dudes that should have gotten that draft and got the mm-hmm. hell up out of there. Because mm-hmm. they that's stock plummeted, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because they kept like, on staying. Yeah, that's a yeah. fact. I got a boy. Uh, matter of fact, my my boy, uh, uh, Chase Tapley. He went to he mm-hmm. went to San Diego State with um with Kawhi Leonard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We played. We was on the. Uh, we played together in high school. Okay. He stuck around. He should have left with Kawhi. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He stuck. He stuck around. Was he the guard? Was he the guard? Uh, he was number twenty two. He was like they shooting guard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I remember. I yes, remember. Chase Tapley. He should. He should have mm-hmm. got up out of there. You know. Mm-hmm. Now, now everybody got different goals, and um, I'm not sure exactly if he was like, I want to go to the NBA, but you know, what I'm saying like, right? Because the next, because the next year, my other partner from Sac from Sacramento, uh, Xavier Thames, he okay. ended up going to San Diego State from from Washington State. He transferred and went down there with Chase. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He ended up he ended up getting drafted late second. Um, yeah. yeah, but like I'm saying, so some sometimes you gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta get up out of there because your stock will plummet and that money will go with it. You know what That's I mean? Okay. There's there's a, there's a big difference in signing bonuses and whatnot from the lottery to the late first um to the second round I'm, I'm 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 pretty sure it's not like the football sign of bonus is a difference right. but you know what i'm saying like there's a difference though like right by going going top 20 and going early second it's a, it's difference. a big difference it's, it's a, a difference, difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah on top of that too like you got to take advantage like it makes sense the sooner you can take uh take advantage of your potential like that's what you're kind of leveraging so it's easier to when you're younger to get out of there because you can leverage your potential versus a known fact that when they see too much film of you now, it's like, ah, uh, I'm kind of, I'm hesitant for that second contract now because we kind of see where you're, you get a better idea what type of player you might end up being. So they might yeah. be hesitant toward that. You know what I mean? Some players, they develop out of that, you know what I mean? And they could take that next leap. But a lot of the times, the NBA, you have to kind of get into that mix as soon as possible so that way you can get acclimated, things like that, and you grow into the league. That's the thing about it. I think... It makes sense. Like, if a kid could come out of high school, he should be able to have the opportunity to go to NBA if he's that nice. Just because, like, you should put them in the environment to grow within that league as well. You're handicapping them by putting them in a play style that they're not going to be playing in the mm-hmm. NBA. Most, I mean, for a I'm, lot of, I'm not, I'm the, not a fan. I'm not a fan of straight to high school personally. I hate it. Mm. I hate it. Mm. I think I think they should make a. a, a but you should. I think you should. They should make it a two-year rule. I think you got to, you know, be grad, be out of high school for two years. Now, if you, if you don't want to go to college, okay, I guess. Right. But I, I, I think you should. I think. Let me not go too far because I, I don't got, I don't got time to, I don't got time to be getting caught. I don't, I don't got time. Right, right, right. Let's get into it. Let's I don't get got into time it. for those type, those type of comments today. Man. <laughs> Let's get. I into feel, it, yeah. I feel strongly about you. Need to go to college, bro. Like not even, not even, not even, not I'm not I'm not. But yeah, you need to go to school, bro. Not 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 overseas. Not not G League and not ignite. Go play some. Go go to. Oh, college. they're about to um. If low key, I think they're about to actually um. Yeah, that's done. Shutting it off, right? I think they're shutting that's it done. down for yeah, a reason, bro. <laughs> for a reason. Yeah. Man, these young these young I mean, these young niggas are not ready. Bro. I mean, the NCAA did it to themselves, though. You know what I'm saying? Like they. Mm-hmm. They for years they've been benefiting off the backs of you know hardworking you know athletes you know what I'm saying so it's like at the end yeah. of the day it's either you it's either you pay them or they gonna go to the league you know, like if I, yeah. if I if I if I'm if I risk injury here I might as well just risk injury while I'm in the league you know what I'm saying like I'm, you I'm, you the thing is I think you should I think uh, college players should definitely get paid not mm-hmm. the, not this way though not the way that they're doing it right now the nil the nil all that shit, the way they're doing it, is not the right way. They're doing it wrong. They're gonna fuck. They they go. They're gonna fuck up the game. They on. They mm. already football. Fo- college football, if you ask me, is already cooked. College bas- college mm-hmm. basketball is That's on the way. It, you know, college basketball is on mm-hmm. the way. They should get paid, but they shouldn't get paid by corporations and stuff like that. They should be getting paid from the school. And I I don't I don't think it should be like oh well this player gets this much if you're a sophomore a freshman a junior a senior depending on your grade level you should you should be offered a certain amount of money and you should be able to get it they shouldn't be giving it all to these kids right now either you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. that should that should be you should be getting some of it right now some of that bread yeah. should be on back pay you know what I'm saying because look I, I, I know that, I know, that I, agree I, know with. I agree with that I know that I know I, a lot of people like well it's their money yeah but these these kids they're kids bro you can't I can't you can't give a kid five hundred thousand dollars today and think 100%. that you can and think that you right. can tell them what to do at practice bro that's not how it works bro you got to get mm-hmm. I think now I think they should get more than just enough to get by don't get me wrong like I'm I think right. they should get a good amount of money you know what I'm saying but don't know you know what I'm saying but you should get more as the longer the longer you stay in school, the more money you should get. I think that should incentivize, incentivize you staying in school, bro. Give them that money because this is the thing: kids should get paid. But let's not act like a free education isn't a big deal. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? True. That 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 college that that uh, that scholarship is a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Getting a free education is huge. That's that is a that is a very big deal. It's now, different for different, should, should, but it's different for different players, though. Ark. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, not but a free, a free education, a free education is a great thing for 
anybody. 100%, 100%, 100%. No matter, no matter, no matter, no matter where you're from, no matter yeah, what no matter walk of life you're no from, right, free right. education is a yeah, big yeah, deal. Yeah. But you but we're still talking about the macro more. sense. We're talking about in the macro sense, though. Actually, we're not talking... I, in the I mean, macro I mean, sense, in the that's micro huge. Sense. That's amazing. Not, okay, not, okay. I mean, we're, we're talking in the micro sense, right? Because for NBA... I mean, for kids that are trying to go to the NBA and show the talent off the rip, like, don't get me wrong. If it's kids that are developing, obviously, that are, like, going to be, like, two to like three years obviously yes but at the same time there's going to be players that are not invested into the education part at all they're not focused right. on that they're doing as much just to get by and they're trying to get to the league there are kids yeah. that are wired like that you get what i'm saying right so right and they, they, should, they should they shouldn't have to stay they shouldn't have to stay for four years if, if you're trying to get to the league cool but yeah, you, yeah, still yeah, need, yeah. you still you yeah. still need to develop you still need to mature not only as a basketball player but as a human as a young man right. you should, or a young woman you still have to mature you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We seen it. We seen the 18, 18-year-old, 18 17-year-old kids to go be around grown ass men, and these kids aren't grown. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, don't for me, I'm, you gotta think about think about the 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 guys, the vets, the 35-year-olds, the 34-year-olds in the league. Mm -hmm. And then they come in and it's this new 18-year-old kid in the league. Like, they like, man, can somebody get this little nigga up on my face? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, like, come on, man, like grow up. You know what I mean? So that, that's my that's my only thing. A lot of it, a lot of it has to do to me with maturity. And a lot right. of kids, even and my thing is this too, Tex. There's a lot of kids that's been that's gone to the league that early that were gonna be good NBA players, but it ruined it because they came a little they, they came, they, you know what? They 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 came a little early, they came a little too quick. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, no, 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 not the pause because I'm say, I'm saying that in I'm that feeling you, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. you know what I'm saying? You, you, hey, I know, I know. Look, I'm talking, I'm talking to you now, chat. I'm talking to you now, chat. I'm talking to everybody out there. Y'all know, y'all had one the child was waiting on for a minute. Y'all was waiting on for a minute. She finally gave you some play, and you came too quick. And she went, and she wasn't to understand the type. <laughs> She wasn't the understanding type. Like the NBA is cutthroat, dog. She wasn't the understanding type. She wasn't the type of like, you know what? Well, it's probably been a long day. You know what I'm saying? Let me, but you know, let me let me give him another chance next Friday. He might knock hey, it we're down. We're watching it in, in real time in the NBA. That's a fact. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got because you because because the thing about it is, man, you was just exhausted. You was tired. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't. You couldn't. You know. But next Friday, you would have had a good sleep. Saturday, you would have came and went three rounds on her ass. Pow, pow, pow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> should have waited, bro. You should have waited. You should have got some rest. You should have been patient. Oh, you should have learned the game. You right, should have matured right, right. a little Don't bit. Don't be too thirsty, man. Don't yeah. Be too thirsty. Learn, some water, man. Don't be too learn, thirsty. learn how not to be too excited. You know what I'm saying? Next mm -hmm. time, you might have a little bit of Hennessy in you. Give us some of that Hennessy. You know what I mean? Yeah, all right. Relax. 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 relax, relax. <laughs> all, right, all right. See, that's what I'm saying, Tex. That's why I want to go too far into this. Because you know I'm saying? That's what you're walling. You're walling out. Yo, that's no, a no, you no, take no, control no, of the no. show, bro. Hey man, I'm I'm just here. I'm just here, man. Uh you oh, want me yeah, to yeah, read this uh super chat real quick? Oh yeah, yeah we, on, got a, we, got, we got a super chat by Brian Holiday. Uh shout out to Brian Holiday. Thank you for your support, man. Um, with a controversial question, you know what I'm saying? Uh do you believe that Kevin Durant sold his soul for rings? Uh everything that has happened since those rings makes me believe that. <laughs> Holy smoke. <laughs> he sold his soul. Oh man. He see, see, we, we 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 try to pivot to something else, but it but the thing that we pivot to is even more controversial than the thing that we were just, <laughs> <That's insane. laughs> that just oh listen, man. Listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say this. All I'm gonna say this in basketball lore, everybody is gonna look at this critical time when Kevin Durant went from OKC to the team that beat him. And got him right up out of there. It's gonna look. It, it it changed the perception of his career. I'm not gonna front. A lot of things okay. did not go his way. Like Carm, it was like, don't get me wrong. He's been whooping, and but he just had un, like unlucky event after unlucky event after unlucky event. Things that's in his control, out of his control, whatever the case may be. It's just like, damn. Like you was on a trajectory, and it just like it. It peaked and then it kind of just now you're chasing. It doesn't know like you're in limbo now. That's what it doesn't look like. You know what I mean? My only like thing, right? My only thing about Kevin Durant is um, there's a saying, Kevin. If you're listening, um, mm. you know, short term, short term satisfaction leads to long term, uh, mm. you know, 
long-term pain. You know what I'm saying? That's tough. That's tough. That's uh, tough. You, you get all your satisfaction on the, the front end. You know, you, you went out and got those cheap ass rings that cost a dollar fifty. Yikes. And Yikes. uh Yikes. and now now you now you paying three hundred dollar medical Yikes. bills, you know what I'm saying? A thousand dollar medical bills. Shout out to 30, man. Shout out to 30. <laughs> Shout oh. out to 30. W W Warp nice. leadership, man. W but anyway, you man. Gotta, you know, you gotta stop. You gotta stop buying that Chinaman jewelry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyway, this is gotta, uh, gotta go, gotta gotta go hit them them them, them Jewish jewelers, right? <laughs> but this isn't the panel, you know what I'm saying? We not right, we right, not gonna right, get right, too right, much right. into Katie. Oh yeah, let me uh, Oxman. let me just hit them up. What's going on with um? Oh yeah, Ox, you got the you got the quote yeah, yeah, real quick, real quick. Give me a sec. Give me a second. Yeah. Um. Shit. First of all, y'all, what's good? Happy to see y'all. What's today? Friday on this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. Happy to have y'all. Um. As always. Y'all know when y'all see this, y'all hear this, y'all hear us up here. That means get off your ass and on your feet. Um, in the meantime, let me hit y'all with the quote of the day. Hold on, y'all. Let me find it. I got it right here. Okay. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seems to be no hope at all. Okay, yeah. So most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. That is a quote from Dale Carnegie. I wonder how true is that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. See, it seemed like a good quote, it's a very inspirational. It's just it, it inspires you to keep on working, you know, keep on going when, when there seems to be no light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I mean? When it, when it seems that all else has failed, man, get your ass up and keep fighting, man, and, and great things will be accomplished. Now, that right. doesn't mean that all, all accomplishments happen due to adversity. All accomplishments came from, from the gutter. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when things are looking good, they are good, y'all. Mm -hmm. But when things are looking bad, they can't get better. So y'all keep on fighting, man. Keep standing up. Stand on, stand on, on your own two feet. Work hard. And, and, and should it get good, y'all? Trust me, should it get good? Um, that's a fact. Uh, that's a fact. Yeah, so that's the quote of the day. Um, I'm let's hit them with some with. finances so we can get to the weather and get into some real business. We got some, hey, we got some stuff for y'all. Stick around, stick around. Uh, Drake, Drake's, Drake's praying for J. Cole to save him. Uh, Carly Russell, <laughs> no, got, Carly no, Russell no, got no, sentenced. No, hey, we not, there's a lot, Ox, a lot going on today. <laughs> your, text, your text, what's up with the finances, dog? Hit it with it. So, yeah, well, um, the gas prices has went up. That's a fact. We already knew that was going to happen. So, the national gas price is at 353, it went up 10 cents in New York and went up seven cents. It's at 341. The premium is at 389. In Atlanta, it went up 12 cents, is at 337. And the premiums at four nineteen, down in Houston. Uh, it went up twelve cents. We in three, three dollars and eleven cents. Oh, that's tough. Uh, and three fifty eight for premium. In Chicago, uh, the Windy City is up nineteen cents. Dang. It's at four thirty. Uh, premiums at four seventy five. In Seattle, the rainiest <laughs> city in the world. I'm not gonna hold you. I thought New York was bad, but yeah, yeah, I got it. Seattle. Uh, it's at 437. It went down actually, so y'all living good. Is that 437? Premiums at 459 in LA. It went up 12 cents, it's rounded basically five dollars at 499 and uh, premiums at 534. Um, no Mississippi tech. has taken oh, over man. as yeah, yeah, Mississippi has just taken over as the cheapest, but you already know that comes with a price, <laughs> right? Yo, tech. So, so, uh, real quick, just for the people to make sure that they understand when you said that the prices dropped from this, like this many cents, you're talking about from, from last Friday, right? Right, okay, right, mm -hmm. right, right, yeah, yeah, okay. So, damn, damn, I want, I mean, I, it, 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 well, it was bound to happen because we talked about it on Monday, like mm -hmm. that's the thing about it, you know, this liquid fuel, that's where the the big uh fuss is about so it's going to fluctuate and once that fluctuate you know prices are yeah. just going to go up automatically like just nasty. No doubt. No but shout doubt. out to seattle for dodging that clip yeah dodge the clip yeah yeah i mean shit, we've been uh out here on the west coast we've been paying high gas prices for so long you know had to show some love eventually <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let me get let me get to the weather real quick uh we'll start in new york city today high 43 low 28 and partly cloudy um, tomorrow there will be a high 53, low 33 is with some heavy rain on Sunday, high 49, low 32 and windy. 
uh, down in Atlanta hot, today, high 64, low 56, and light rain. Tomorrow will be a windy day, high 65, low 41, and on Sunday, high 65, low 45, and mostly cloudy. Uh, to the Chicago, <clears throat> today we got some rain and snow, high 37, low 32. Tomorrow, high 34, low 32, a windy day in the windy city. On Sunday, high 42, low 40, and cloudy. Houston, today we got some scattered thunderstorms. Yeah. Let me get up out of that. Uh, scattered <laughs> thunderstorms in Houston today. High, <laughs> high 76, low 59. Um, Saturday, high 74, low 61. Clear skies. High 73, low 67 on Sunday with a, with some wind. Speaking of the rain, speaking of the rain in the Emerald City today in Seattle, there will be a light rain. High 55, low 49. Tomorrow, <laughs> some more, some more rain. High 52, low 46. On Sunday, the rain will cease, but it will be a cloudy day. High 56, low 45. Damn. In Los Angeles today, high 70, low 57, cloudy skies. This Sunday, this weekend will be a rainy weekend in Los Angeles. It says light rain. Uh, so a, a little windbreaker, you know, put a little hood on it. You'll be okay. Uh, high 61, low 50 today. And tomorrow, high 61, low 49. That is the weather brought to you by Google, of course. Um, Y'all dress accordingly, act accordingly, drive accordingly. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah, so no that's crash that. crash out, y'all. Don't crash out this weekend. All right. So uh, now that I've got the weather down, let me uh, get into the culture, man. Do, 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 do. All right. So um, Desla, you, need a sound, you need a soundboard, Desla. Yeah, I do. I do need a. I do need like a little gotta, intro, intro, intro theme that, song. You know what I'm saying? Gotta, you don't gotta do that, bro. <laughs> we gonna get there, bro. We gonna get there. <laughs> we gonna we gonna get there. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get there. Um, listen, man. Let's start off with some quick hits, real quick. Uh, I'm gonna just run down a couple topics. You know, we can talk about them if y'all want, but I'm gonna just run them down. Um, Beyonce announced that her Act Two Cowboy Carter album. Uh, will be coming out March 29th, which is you know next Friday. We gonna we gonna get some new new Beyonce music pretty soon, man. Pretty soon, um, and it's kind of crazy how just when she announced that, uh, Post Malone came out and uh, said that he's coming out with another country song. So uh, you know, it's it's nothing like it's nothing like that good oh, old some competition. Some competition. It's, not, it's nothing like that good old you know. Culture vulture, man. Culture vulture <laughs> is right back in effect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's crazy. Um, Yo, what's the what's the one light skinned sister from Tennessee? She do uh she do country music. I can't remember right now. She bad though. I like her. Ooh, I like from Tennessee. Her yeah, I'm not, I'm not in tune. I'm not in tune. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not in tune yeah. for sure. I think she's from Nashville. I like her a lot. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, they they so all from Nashville, you, right, ain't they? That's probably yeah, yeah. like the only genre that I'm the least. You feel me? Like, and I I actually like consider myself a music person. Like, that's mm. just the it just now. Nah, don't get me wrong, blues definitely can rock with blues. Oh yeah, but oh yeah. Country, country, nah, I like it. Just I it's like, a different pattern for me. Like, mm. you feel me? It's a different frequency. I can't get on mm. that. I, can't get on that. <laughs> I used to, I used to like country music a lot when I was little. My mom used to listen to it sometimes. I I, I like the vibes. You know what I'm saying? Dude, you know. no, I, feel that. I, haven't, I haven't really got into it too much, but sometimes nah, I that Nelly was fire country. though. I'm not gonna hold you that. Oh, oh yeah, no, nah, that Nelly that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's was hard. Point. But yeah, every once in a while, I hear some country music that I really like though. Um, pack your bags, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to Saudi Arabia. They said that they they announced that they are opening a Dragon Ball theme park. Uh, um, will be Shit. opening in Saudi Arabia. So, hey, you know, Saudi Arabia just increased their traffic flow by tenfold once they announced that. You know what I'm saying? They're, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's they're going to get crazy. Yeah, they're going to get a lot of... I'm not going for one reason. There's the only one reason, because I'll be pissed when I see kids running like this, bro. <laughs> that shit pisses somebody's me off. Trip. Like, somebody, real, somebody I getting tripped. Somebody getting tripped. That shit is yeah. aggravating. Yeah, man, yeah, for yeah. real. I got to trip a couple of kids. I'm not gonna uh, not, like not violently. I just nah, gotta. Bro. Hopefully nothing happens, yo. But you just gotta fall because you can't be running like that. You're looking at the ground running. How was that? Yo, what, that what are you doing? 
<laughs> yeah, it is, bro. Where's your hey, yo, text, that, text. And then that's what gonna talk about. There was a study that shows, <laughs> that, but that they, they, they just did. They did an episode on MythBusters about it, and she wasn't running that much. She didn't run that much faster. You know what I'm saying? She was Vorp, running the same bro. pace that's both times. It was like that's was, that's the anime warp, bro. That's the anime warp for sure. Um. Sydney Sweeney came out in a recent interview saying that she would love to do a movie with Margot Robbie in what will be the, probably the sexiest Woo, movie of all time. You know what I'm <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably gonna be. It. Probably hey, y'all gonna know, be y'all know, I can't handle that. That's gonna, that's gonna get ox. Yeah, that's gonna get ox out of his <laughs> element for sure. He's gonna be in the theater like, <laughs> whoa, what is <laughs> happening? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? No, no, that's what that'll have me right in my element. Yeah, for sure. Exactly where I want to be. The milk seed. He's Ox gonna. He's no Ox personally will make sure that movie hits over a million dollars first weekend. Right, right, box right, 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 oh man, I got. I got, I got Ox, I got, what you doing I'm, today? I'm at the movies. That's gonna be, what you doing that's today? Gonna be, I'm at the movies. That's gonna be all. That's gonna be all him. I got that's five cool. figures for that movie for sure. Right. He's um, definitely then the last. The no snooze buddy button show at the movies. In the theater, live, live, yeah. live from the theater. <laughs> but could you imagine um, the graveyard ship in the theater though? <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool to know. Wow. After dark. After dark. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, last thing that, on let's the Let's make that happen. Hits. Let's make that happen, Dad. Last, last quick hit of the day is going to be the fact that they have a new Alien movie coming out. Alien Romulus. Uh, that was just announced recently. Um, I don't even know how to say this word. R-O-M-U-L-U-S. Romulus. I think it's Romulus. 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 Um, yeah. I don't know. It's coming out. It's coming out August sixteenth, uh, two thousand twenty-four. They just released the poster not too long ago. Um, oh, so it's actually coming out this year, though. It's coming out this year, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, man, that's going. That's going to wrap it up for that, the quick hits. That was the. Uh, old, there was a. There was another um, uh, alien joint that I saw, which was insane. It's on Hulu. Uh, mm. Damn, it's like. It's a it's a kid that they think is bugging out. Like they they've been they took him to a mental health institution, things like that, to get evaluated. But they are they were like these alien like creatures that were like they had lines across their the back of their neck. They they mm. would morph. He would be able to see them, but everybody thought that he was like crashing out and he ran away. Things like no, nah, that movie is <laughs> y'all gotta. I don't want to ruin it. Like I, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna uh, leave it in the chat. I'm gonna leave it in the in the comments. Cause that that movie's insane. Um, I mean, listen, mm. man. <laughs> listen, man. I don't know what y'all be. I don't know why. Who keeps on creating these movies? What's the point? If these things are real and they've been confirmed, these little situations now, you know, everybody's confirming things. I don't know, man. <laughs> We're in the Matrix, bro. I just keep telling y'all we are in the Matrix. Like, Facts. Just go watch that movie, y'all. Go watch. Just go watch the movie again. And you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Dead ass. Um, <laughs> Just go watch that movie. So let me. So for for this this upcoming. Did Civil weekend, War come out? My fault. My fault. Did Civil War come out? That movie. That Civil War movie. Did it come out yet? The A24 one. The A24. I don't think so. I don't think it did yet. Okay. 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 Um, that yeah, that movie sure. might be crazy. That movie mm. might be crazy. So I guess we. Uh, I guess we gotta get into this, man. Um, there was an album. Like, there was an album that dropped. Man. There was an album that dropped last night. You know. Yes. Look at your man. Yeah. Look at your man. Right, look at your man. Defeated. Um, you're sick right now. You're sick right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this nasty work. Go ahead. This yo, is, Drake, this is, yo, uh, y'all know. Y'all know. Oh, go ahead, Dezel. Announce it. Go ahead, Dezel. Deal so, so you know, we uh we had an album that dropped uh we, by Metro and Future. Uh, we don't trust you. And it's crazy how like. You can tell the quality of the music on here by the fact that none of it is getting talked about except for one song, you know. Um, Kendrick Lamar on, I on the song. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I completely disagree. You, you, you don't, hate, don't, hate, don't, don't hate on the whole album. I'm, I'm hating. I'm hating. Came on and no, I'm, I'm hating. This is pure hate. This is pure hate. Um, Kendrick Lamar on the song Like That, track six on the... Uh, uh, we don't trust you. He uh, he said some things. He said some things about some people. Um, some people that uh, uh, let me just let me just stop beating around the bush, man. He he dissed Drake and J Cole. Um, 
it was it was a uh it was a hard punching disc said uh you know forget the big three no it's it's only big me you know what i'm saying um which is kind of pause but i'm gonna let it slide because it's kendrick you know i mean that's look y'all know y'all know i don't really i don't really care too much for kendrick or drake you know what i mean like as far as far as it goes but like bar for bar lyrically though that's not a route, especially on some like like a rap beef type situation. Drake might want to just leave it alone and just be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, he just talking shit. You know what I mean? Like he might want to yeah. he might want he might he might want to play that super rich nigga role. Like, oh, I'm too rich to be beefing with, with, with another great, you know what I'm saying? We're two right. titans, we need to leave it alone. Like, this ain't what Drake want, bro. Um, he might want to let J. Cole just have this one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just to have this let let, let let Jermaine have this one. And Drake, you just Drake. This is Drake's perfect time to play that king role. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't fuck with me. I don't need to. I don't need to get into no shit with you. You, you know what I'm saying? Play that role, like nigga. You are you crazy? <laughs> you know, this is the perfect time for that. Get up out of there, Drake. Bow out. Pull one of these. Call your security. Tell them we need to get up out of here. You know. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that this ain't this ain't this ain't Drake. This ain't Drake Lane. All he got to do is gaslight the whole situation, like you said. Right. He's gonna make it look like yo. Um. He's gonna send subs, but then he's gonna act like he's not sending subs. And then when they just trying to throw at it, he's like, "Yo, you throwing rocks at the sun? Like, what are we doing over here? Like, he's gonna make it look like that? No, 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 no. You know you ducking. And until we see you put pen to pad, we know you are ducking because. Dot is going to come for your head top. Pause. No freaky. He's going to wild you up, and you know that. And he's been waiting to itch to chomp at you again. Pause. No freaky. Don't play with that boy. He went crazy on him. And Dezo, you know that he wild him up. Now, my question to you. He wild him up off one bar? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Let's, let's, Let's preface this conversation before we get to the facts. What is Drake's best album to you, Dizzo? Uh Probably, probably nothing was the same. Okay, cool, cool. I could, I'll give you that. Is it, that better than good, is it is it better than Good Kid, Mad City? Um, I mean, which one? I I listen to nothing was the same more, but I'll I'll mm-hmm. give it to you that Good Kid, Mad City is probably more conceptually better album. Yeah. I think I think Drake I think Drake makes better music than Kendrick. Uh, yeah, me okay. personally, I just enjoy Drake. I think, music more. I, think, I think Drake makes better music than Kendrick, but I think Kendrick is a, a better rapper. You know what I'm saying? Better lyricist. You know what I'm saying? Be- better bar spitter than Drake. But I think uh, as far as music goes, Drake makes better music. But J. Cole is the one here. <laughs> like J. Cole is the key to all of this little rap beef shit that's going on. That's really that's really the thing we, is, we gotta, Kendrick see how, Lamar, we gotta see how Jermaine reacts to this. Yeah, Kendrick you know? Lamar diss both of them. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, people, are all, just diss people are Drake. talking about people are just t- talking about Drake in the headlines, but like no, like J. Cole is the one that calls them the big three. And and Kendrick Lamar specifically said, forget mm-hmm. the big three. It's only big me. You know what I'm saying? And like, that, that that's, be a, legit. that's a direct shot at J. Cole. Oh, um, see, see, you see this text. This is what this is what Drake. Him. This is what Drake is gonna try to do. Drake yeah, is gonna I'm make this you. about J. Look. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Dr- Dezo, you That's, are yeah. you just spoke for the Drizzler himself. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you just <laughs> yes, bro. That's but that's, that's but Drake. Play. But the thing is, Drake Drake is at a level right now where uh, a shot from Kendrick Lamar. Doesn't do nothing to him, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't do nothing for him. Yo, text, you know did I not just say this two, three minutes ago? This is Bruh, the role he's Drake been fo- he's play. in the Kendrick, algorithm, bro. Kendrick, he's in the bro, algorithm. Kendrick, he, Kendrick, him, Kendrick said on he's the in song, the sunken place. Kendrick said on the song <laughs> that he's Mike Jackson. Kendrick, Kendrick Jamar said himself that he's Michael Jackson, but he and said that bro, he's, he's Prince, hit him with the you know what I'm Prince. You feel me? Hit him with the yeah. Prince. Come, come on, man. Ken- Kendrick can be Prince. This is Drake's Michael level. Jackson. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's right. Yo, but, so cool. but but I, but a lot a lot of a lot of us like Prince more than Mike though. That's so, fine. You know what I'm saying? That's so what fine. do you say? So you prefer the easier to digest and enjoyable music over the dense, you know what I mean, conceptual music? Is that is that what you're saying? 
if you're saying that if I prefer Michael Jackson over Ken, uh, over Prince, then yeah, that's exactly okay. What I'm that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. A, lot, a, lot, a lot of people didn't like that little nigga up on the stage and ask his chaps fucking the stage. You know what I'm saying? That, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Kind of, that was a little I, weird. I'm, like, I'm, Prince, I'm, I'm going to hold you than, than Prince, but he's talented yeah. though. He's talented. Yeah, he's very talented. But but this this the thing though. This the thing how. In this situation, right? Ashley's chops is crazy. Yeah, I mean, he was he was in Ashley's chops. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, no, I'm just saying, it's <laughs> especially the dude. He's you know, Prince was like five four, like five, was a little dude, five four. Damn. Oh, Prince was miniature, bro. But uh, but but check it out though. In that bar, like that that be legit E forty water bar, that was a mm. shot at J Cole. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's a that fact. was that was that was a J. Cole yeah. shot right, right there, directly. Right, right, like right, I, I right. wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if Kendrick was on some shit like yo. Y'all know real, real niggas don't run in the industry, right? Yeah. So it's it's Drake's, like it's Drake's. You know, Drake got right. it. Nobody, no, yeah, you know what I'm right. saying. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kendrick more so wanted it with J. Cole. Like, oh, yeah, that's a fact. Like, I think you know I think, J, J, I, think yes, Cole, I think J. Cole think is really box. the adversary here. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's really he's really the adversary because yeah. <clears throat> sorry, Dezo. These two are the ones. Like J. Right. Cole, J. 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 Cole is J. Cole is him. Like if right. I if I if I got to take somebody down, it doesn't it doesn't do me any right. good really to go at Drake like that because no matter what, Drake wins. You know what I mean? Just because that's how the industry is set up. Like Drake, Drake, Drake can't fall. J. Cole, on the other hand, he he he's a better lyricist. He he got some shit to say. I, I want that's he what I really want to see. Loop. I want. I want I want Drake to play that high and mighty role because he know this ain't his lane. He know this ain't right. Him. That's a fair. He know the same for him. He can spit nah, with these niggas like, though, man. The smooth, the smooth. Uh, that's all, but he can't. <laughs> he, he's gonna. He got. He's gonna he he got to see. See, see like, the thing text, is, he got that, to, that Drake, verse, Drake got to talk some money shit. That's the only right. way he can do that this, verse. You know that verse from that verse from Kendrick is beatable. Like I think J Cole and and Drake can both make a verse that's beatable or that can beat that verse. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, Kendrick's response. To whatever they come out with, right? That's, that's gonna be the. That's gonna be the. All right. If I'm Drake, see, if I'm Drake, you know, as a Drake fan, I'm I'm kind of scared. You know, what I'm saying, because if he responds, I know Kendrick got a be way better verse than that. You know, you got in, in the tub. You got. You say yeah, you got to. If, 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 if Drake, if Drake, the Drizzles are shook right now. Does I'm I'm a little shook. Cause, Cause, I know what Kendrick take. I know what Kendrick Lamar is capable of. You know what I'm saying? And I know how he get down. He'll hit you with with a word that you ain't never heard of. That mean that he dished your whole family. You know what I'm saying? So Whoever I, I know people how Kendrick think is. that Eminem is on their ranking. That's where you should be putting Kendrick Lamar. That's he's he does what Emin what everybody thinks Eminem does. But can we do better. that without taking shots at Eminem text? Can we just say that they both do it? No, no, that's a fact. No, no, no. He, if you listen to it from the rapping aspect, from the concept aspect, every the perception of how people perceive Eminem, Kendrick Lamar does what he does. It has nothing to do with taking a shot with him. What I'm saying is how they people how people perceive Eminem is how Kendrick Lamar is really. He does it at a higher level than that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, Buster Rhymes that. does, in my opinion, I think Buster Rhymes also does at a higher level than that. But that's another conversation. Yeah, man. Um, but back to you listen, being scared, Dezo. Back to you being scared. <laughs> listen, man. Um, and and the thing is, uh, I think I think J Cole, like, you know, J him and Kendrick and J Cole have gone at it on a uh, Black Friday. They both swapped verses on each other's beats for a black black friday way back in the day and kendrick kendrick bodied him like it was it was a really uh a really um like not close like it wasn't it wasn't close but the thing is i like i like j cole and drake's music more than kendrick lamar's like i i don't like it, uh kendrick lamar's music like that so I'm obviously gonna be biased, but I do think that uh Kendrick's gonna gonna come out. Kendrick's gonna obviously come out of this victorious because you know he's already got a stigma behind him. You know what I'm saying? Like like fans already don't like Drake. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like Drake, so 
Oh so, my God, Dezo, could you stop this? Bro, shit, bro? listen to me, man. Listen. To me. <laughs> a lot of people. A lot of people, people don't. Love Drake. A lot of people. Yeah, but there's Drake has a lot of people that you know that he rubs the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Especially people in Kendrick's fan base. Kendrick's fan base definitely don't rock with Drake. So yo, I'm telling so, you like this, yo, Kendrick. I like y'all know, like I've said, we've already know. I don't care much for Kendrick's music, but I do respect his lyrical, his lyrical abilities. I respect his his music making abilities. He not getting bodied by a singing nigga. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> not happening. I know not one not thing, but he ain't getting bodied by no singing nigga. But he can't. Let's he can't. He can't. Ask. Nope, he can't cool. stay in LA or go back to LA getting body by Drake. LA niggas ain't going for that. Like, bro, you no, 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 no. fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. That's built to ask, bro. Yeah. Built to ask. Um, shit, let's let's anyway. keep it moving though, so we can because yeah, I, I, I do got something for it. So what's, yeah, what's it's next, gonna be bro? interesting to see uh what happens though. Um uh last thing that I want to talk about before we move on to uh the current event. Um Star Wars is back, man. You know what I'm saying? Star Wars has a new show coming out called The Acolyte, dropping June 4th. Um, it's a show set 100 years before all of the movies. So it's going to be like, so if you watch this, you won't be confused about, like, you won't have to catch up on any of the movies. You know, you can just come into this fresh. Uh, won't need to, you know, look up, you know, how does this fit into the timeline, which is something that I, I really wanted, you know, Star Wars to do. Because for a while, they've just been making shows where all of them have been, been taking place in the same exact, you know, timeline. So I'm glad that they're getting away from that and, uh, is, you know, create new characters for people, new fans to come in and enjoy. You know, that's, no, that's, a, that's fantastic. Fine, that's fine. Um, also, um, um, if you guys haven't watched the thing, um, please watch that. ID HBO Max, um, that quiet on the set joint, like that is mm, insane, especially yeah. people that have like you know, kids that have like because there's a lot of kids that have like that, um, and ener- that energy where and that, um, that look and they're able to have opportunities, uh, to film in commercial things like that. Just be vig- uh, vigilant in those situations, you know what I mean? Just watch that, it just shows you, like, and even in a place that's po- sp- supposed to be promoting kint- entertainment and happiness for them. It was like kind of the worst environments for them. So go watch that mm-hmm. show. It's, it's insane. Yeah, and also uh what okay, yeah. Right. Um and also just uh, one quick last thing. Um I believe uh House House of the Dragon season two is uh on on the way as well. Mm. I think I think did it did it drop already or is it yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, I know. I know it's. Um, I know it's coming soon. So make sure y'all y'all tune into that. That's um, definitely on the uh, going to be on the docket for sure. All right, but, but, but. but yeah, man, Ox, go ahead. I can't wait for that House of the Dragons. Though I'm sure, but I, I like the. Uh, I, I didn't hear like about that. that. I even. I don't even know. It's, uh, it's I, like I the. It's what, that's like the prequel to uh. And that's the prequel to Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, my shorty put me on to that. I was like, oh, okay, okay. It's a little, a little crazy. I'm like, oh, dude. It was kind of intense. Got ass towards the end, but it was pretty fire. <laughs> so um, what I'm about to play for y'all is the DA in the Carly Russell case. Uh, if y'all don't remember Carly Russell, she faked her kidnapping um, last year. Had the whole country looking for her black ass, and she wasn't doing nothing but but hanging out. Um, for uh, she she said, I mean, really though, she said that you know she's going to do some things. She had some emotional things going on, you know. But uh, let's get to it though. I want I want to play this. Uh, it's a couple minutes. I'm gonna play for y'all, and y'all just listen. Matter of fact, y'all let me know if y'all can hear this, please. Can you not hear this? Two minutes, so I will do that. First of all, this case has always been about respect for law enforcement and respect for this community as a whole. Miss Russell faked the kidnapping, duped the community, and contrived this situation. We still just don't know to this day 
where she was, how she got there, what she was doing, what things she was doing. Yeah. That ain't really your business, but whatever. She, um, we, once we figured out that she was supposedly missing, the community got involved. Hundreds of people got involved. They took time away from their families, their work, their, their fun. Law enforcement got involved from federal, state to local. And they took time away from their family, their people, their work, other cases that needed to be solved. This has been a case that it was taken advantage of, and it's our contention that Ms. Russell knew this would happen. She had researched it on the computer. She had researched search terms about Amber Alerts and the uh, movie Taken, all of those things. And then, Judge, when she came home, we have rain camera footage of her walking casually down her parents' street, and when she gets in front of her parents' house, she runs up there and starts beating on the door. Police were called. The body cams show that she's flailing around and still perpetuating this ruse that she was kidnapped. The ambulance was called. She goes to the hospital, and she finally speaks with law enforcement, and that's when she tells the story about that orange-haired man and woman telling, playing with her hair and eating cheese at this ruse continues. It doesn't stop. Eating cheeses. The what? Yo, what's, like, what? What's... So I have to say, Judge, because of this ongoing, oh, wow, complete disrespect for this community as well as law enforcement, it is our contention that she should get some jail time. I understand that it's a misdemeanor. I do. But because of the effect that it has had on law enforcement as well as on the community, we feel even if it's weekends in jail or nights in jail, that some sort of incarceration is warranted in this case. And that's really trying to lock her up. Wow. Oh, man. This is... This is what we talk the, about. The DA, the, DA, the DA is pushing, pushing a, 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 long, a, a line. She says... That she deserves some type of jail time, whether it's week week days or weekends in jail, night times in jail, work pro, work program, work release, something. She need to go to jail. Don't play with because, us because this is what she did. Now let me um let me tell you real quick, real quick. Let me get to this part. Um, so she in, she ended up getting sentenced, right? She avoided jail time. She was sentenced right. to one year of supervised probation. 100 hours of community service and $17,974.88 in restitution to the city of Hoover, Alabama. After the sentencing, Hoover Police Chief Nick Durzis told reporters he was disappointed with the sentence. I am very disappointed in the decision not to give any jail time. She gave an apology today, and unfortunately to me, it's like seven, eight months too late. I don't know why we didn't hear that back in July, the police chief said. When, yeah. asked, when, when asked about the restitution, Derza said the real figures should probably be in the 40s, at least 40, 50,000 for all the money that we spent. <clears throat> mm. uh, so if I'm the police chief, like, we, yeah, got budget, some we, we, we got to find you. We got to get something out of this. Well, like, well, no I mean, they're get, they're, she owes $17,000 of restitution. He's saying it should be right. fifty. You know what I'm saying? He like, right. uh, but if I'm the police chief, right, and a, a, a young girl fakes her disappearance and we're, we're you know, sending out rescue teams, deploying officers, paying them overtime, you know, doing all this. And we spent 50 bands looking for your ass and you was just down the street. You know what I'm saying? You was you was kicking it at do dirty house. Now lock her ass up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Lock her ass up. If I'm the police chief, I'm I'm pissed right now. Like, yo, you know how much money I spent looking for this girl? And she talk about she was eating cheeses with some redhead people. What is going on? It's like, what would nah, possess you to do this bozo bro. move? Like, what? Nah, you gotta nah. Listen, karma, karma, man. That's all I can say. It is what it is. I can't, I don't feel no type of way about it. <laughs> she tried to put on the crocodile tears. She's just <laughs> face ass like, nah, you got to, you're a bozo. <laughs> you are a pure bozo. And whatever happens to you, it is what it is. Like, hey, well, she must have, she must have like, got a great lawyer, man. Cause she, uh, like whoever, whoever got her out of that, that's it's insane. <laughs> that's insane. Top of the line. They hit it with a misdemeanor, bro. Yeah, misdemeanor. Wow, man. Bro. wow. A misdemeanor to fake your disappearance. 
That's wild. Like, I I thought like, faking your uh... do? like start a GoFundMe. Like, what was she trying to do? Got to start a GoFundMe or something like that? What he was gonna? What type of? I don't know. Are you evading something? Like, what are you I evading no taxes? Idea. She Holy said smoke, she bro. said that she was going through some things, emotional things. Um, she didn't specify what was going on, but you already know. Look, I'm gonna tell you like this. Now in America, it's easy. I'm I'm not gonna say everything I was gonna say. So I'm just gonna say this. You can play the you can play the mental health card. I'm saying there's there's a cup, there's a couple cards, there's a couple cards in America that you can play in certain circumstances and you can get off. You got the mental health That's card. Right. You got the LBGTQ yeah. card. You got the black right. card in some instances too. You got the right. the Me Too card. The Me Too card is right. a motherfucker. He, yeah, the Me Too card. Yeah, that Me Too card was crazy. Was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That that, 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 Me, that Me Too, too card was yeah, undefeated yeah. for like a good Yo, year and a half. Bro. If if you if you if you fire if you fire up look, everybody, don't don't, don't fire yeah, no don't fire no everybody. don't fire nobody. She gonna be like, he looked at my titties. You know what I'm saying? He touched me inappropriately. Hey, oh, why you got shades oh. on, man? Why got <laughs> just, just in case. So, like, I don't so those, no so those cards. I'm not bro, looking those, at nobody. Those, those cards are crazy. Those cards are crazy, right. bro. And if you play, right. if you play them right, you are gonna be okay. Now, right. now yeah. those cards are they'll get you rung up in some situations too. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the black, right. the black that's card, the black card is not the black card is not foolproof. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's that'll, get, that'll get your ass. That'll get your that's ass hurt right. fucking around. But the mental that that's mental that's like health desperation, right? That's low right. desperation at that point. That that mental health in that LGBTQ card though. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. Especially that mental health card. That mental health card might still be a goat. You know what I'm saying? That that mental health card I mean, might still be. Yeah, that's low key. Get out, get out of um, get out of jail free card. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> low key. Mm -hmm. it's just definitely, like that, definitely, man. definitely. That you, mental uh, monopoly, definitely gonna get a. You you plead you plead insanity. You definitely gonna get a a, a lighter sentence. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Or definitely. you might not even get booked. Like it might not even be over Facts. you. Like, cause Facts. circum cause the thing about it is like. A lot of people like equate like and it makes it does make sense though like you know that whole blackout situation or people you know not being able to control their emotions obviously mm. you still gotta you know what i mean like it's your responsibility to control your emotions you can't but sometimes literally physically your body just goes into fight or flight mode and you just react you know what i mean and you don't you can't stop yourself from doing it so it's insane yeah and sometimes them intrusive thoughts do, do be crazy too yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, like intr intrusive thoughts are crazy, bro. Yeah, right. Sometimes right. I can't control them. You know what I'm saying? My yeah, girl, yeah. my girl be, my girl be, <laughs> like sometimes I'll just say something, and my girl be like, "Why'd you say that?" <laughs> 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 I can't help you, like. But <clears throat> my thing is, I'm I'm good at not speaking on my intrusive thoughts. I just kind of like be like ashamed of myself in my own head be like bro what's the <laughs> wrong with you bro? <laughs> so, that's bad for yeah. oh and big so, mouth the movie big mouth they actually uh -huh. talk about shame it's mad funny that the the, the animated show um yeah. I, I forgot who was it um, nick crow they have shame and yo no funny shit like it's like literally intrusive thoughts about shame and you see like the 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 other um emotion will pop up and then shame will come right behind it, like doing something to make it feel bad. Yo, it's really yo. That show was, it's crazy, but I've never it was seen really that show. Interesting. I know yeah, it was that like that. Was that. Yeah, mm. that show was tough. That so what? So so big mouth is big mouth like a dude with like intrusive thoughts that just no 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 no. So oh, okay. what it is is like it's it's, it's a, like a show about puberty, kids, right? It, it, yeah, it's like kids and uh, living in an animated show, kids that's going through their puberty and stuff like that. And oh. they have to deal with like real life things like that. But what they do is they animate the emotion. Oh, so gotcha. they okay, that's fine. yeah, yeah. They and uh they animate jealousy, mm. lust, all of the seven senses, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like, you know, just yeah, things like that. So they show shame, things like that. So it's mad funny when you see like they're growing up and then like how their emotions have take on its own like personality. The shit is but right. it's mad realistic it makes sense like when you think yeah. about it it's like oh wow like this is like, exactly what you go through when you're going through as a kid like i mean not mm -hmm. as like that because some of them you know some of the culture things ah it's yeah, like yeah. Ah, i don't really go through that but right. for the most part in a macro sense it makes sense it's a dope show dope so show. text mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure you probably seen it you know like with your niece and nephew and stuff like that uh right. Dezo, have you ever um 
you ever seen the movie Inside Out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen those. So movies, th- yeah. they're, they're coming with a, a, a number two, yep. I believe. That's going to be fire. Yep. I can't wait for that yeah. one. It's going to be dope. Yeah, I can't wait for that one either. It's going to be tough, yeah, gonna be man. Tough. See, like those those animations that's creative like that, those are that's fire. Like I feel like that kind of helps break down some psychology for kids. Like in a you know, in a little short dose, obviously it's not you know complicated, but I think it provides it in a funny way. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think those mm. is that that's actually a super dope movie, man. Yeah, yeah, Pixar Pixar has been dope at that for years, man. Undefeated, years. undefeated. Yeah, so sure. Toy Story sure. and all that, yeah, undefeated, yeah. Man. Oh to- yeah, to- yeah, that's there yeah, for sure. Pixar really yeah. do their thing. They do their yeah. thing. Even it's it's a long list of things we can right, drop right, it right, in. Right. But uh right. so I gotta run. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave it to y'all. y'all hold it All right, down. Right, y'all. All right, y'all. Check y'all. Oh, my God. Check our next Salute, All right, y'all. Safe. Um context. You know what we uh didn't do, man? Well, what's up? Let's uh let's hear from our man Kelly, man. You know what I'm saying? If you oh, are a loved right. one that's struggling with sobriety, um Make sure y'all hit up Kelly and he'll, you know, he'll take care of y'all, man. He got programs. He's got all the programs. I'm going to let him see for himself. Hey, it's Kelly here, former crack addict, recovery coach, and Light Beyond Sobriety. That is my private online community for people in addiction recovery who want to set big goals now that they're sober and make those goals happen. We learn strategies in weekly live coaching sessions to make those things come true. Go to lifebeyondsobriety.com and check it out two weeks for free. Yeah, I just I just couldn't believe it, man. I couldn't believe it when uh when when Post Malone came out with that with that shit with that snippet of him with a guitar in his hand singing country music. Right. I'm like, bro, you, you couldn't wait you couldn't wait a month for for Beyonce to get her stuff off. You know what I'm saying? No, you had to come no, right. You had to come right behind yes. the announcement. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right behind. It. Yes, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's how, it's a nasty world that we live in, bro. You got to think about it, right? Bro. The momentum from a marketing aspect, right? And yeah. trying to take advantage of the market, you, right. you're gonna want to capitalize off of any momentum because you gotta think about it, right? He's a little bit a little bit removed from the quote unquote culture. Obviously he's a name and a staple mm-hmm. because of the White Iverson joint. Um, yeah. But for the most part, I think he understands that he's far removed from it. So anytime that he get an opportunity, you might as well just latch on for the ride and get whatever you get out of it. It makes sense. Is it nasty work? Yes. Yes. Right. Like <laughs> if if you're talking about vulturing, like culture vulturing is literally that is the exact thing. You see the momentum, you see the trajectory, and you're just latching in and trying to attach yourself onto it to profit yeah, on it. Man. That's it's the just, exact definition. <laughs> like yeah, it's crazy. It's just it's just tough to see, man. You know, it's tough right. to see. Cause I, I, mean, I like I'm not surprised. Once I saw it from the jump, I'm not gonna lie, like I already knew like he was not gonna last. Once I saw that thing where he had like the mullet and he was drinking beer cans, <laughs> I was like, oh, he's not cut from that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> you cool though, you cool post Malone. And I get like you probably, you know what I mean? Like, and don't get me wrong, rock star is tough. Rock star is super mm-hmm. fire. But that's his element, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Um, that type of tempo, things like that. Like it makes sense when it collabs with the and 21, he he bodied it. Um, so it makes sense, but for me, he's not for me. No, no, I'm out, I'm out on post below. <laughs> uh context, you got anything that you want to put into context, man? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Gene Deal. This guy is putting out, and shout out to all the people that's getting their platform on. Obviously, you know, it's super controversial, but I think him being able to um, provide some context to a lot of situations um, and provide like from back in the days, I think it puts more stamps onto people that got affected by Diddy and moving forward, like whether it be the people from the band, like Dylon with the Dave Chappelle joke, you know what I mean? Like that ruined his career. Like he wasn't even able to shop his uh, mixtapes and stuff like that because of how the industry kind of turned on it. You know what I mean? Like we don't know the opportunities that the people pass up and then they're able to spin it using somebody else as a joke. You know what I mean? Case mm-hmm. in point, um, who's the guy that um that made the joke about uh Bill Cosby? Um again, was it um damn, what's the name of that guy? Hannibal Burris. Hannibal Burris, okay. remember? Yeah. Hannibal yeah. Burris was on Adult Swim with um the light skin guy. I forgot his name. Where he do this like 
crazy style of sketch comedy. Um, mm. And I think he was like the B mic to, to the guy. Uh, um, Eric Andre. The Eric Andre. Right, show. Eric Andre, yeah. Right, right, right. So, boom. Um, Hannibal Burris started doing... St- uh, I didn't know about his stand-up. I heard about it here and there, but I didn't watch mm. it. And then all of a sudden, when he, did, when he talked about Bill Cosby, then you saw him everywhere. Started getting right. movie roles, stuff like that. I think... Um, then he got his own show at one point in Comedy Central. So yeah, it's just so. interesting to see like how certain artists just propel, people propel just randomly. And then all of a sudden, it's either they do something or they don't do something. They either crash out towards the end. It's a weird thing. So I say that to say the conversation that I saw was with um, Ines uh, from the band. I don't know if you remember Ines from the band. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was that. insane. Um, Diddy, Diddy had him go uh, get cheesecake for him. Yeah, the cheese. Yeah, the, uh, there's yeah. so many, there's so many double entendres, but we're not gonna take it <laughs> there. Shout out to E Ness. You know what I mean? He had an interesting conversation. Shout out to Freddie P too. He talked mm. about it. Um, the the interesting thing that they kept just kept bringing up was just like these uncomfortable situations, right? And the, at mm. the end of the day, the common denominator is like there must be these leverage points where people are going through these things. So why, if people are getting exposed and more people are talking about it, why would you want to go that route? Why would you want to take that? Like you, by now, I think once you got to the 2000, 2010s, everybody kind of had a a grasp of like what was happening in the industry. But for Mm -hmm. people who want to like, for example, what's Khalifa could have stayed independent? Um, we were talking about before, currency could have stayed in- independent, right? All these people could have just, you know, done their own circuit and build their fan base to the point that they would be able to, you know, put their other people on, things like that. But why take the meal? Like, is it that much that you're, is it timing? Like, do you think that people are getting manipulated into that and just like, yo, I can promise you this, promise you that, half ass truths? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I say that. And back to reference with the E Ness thing, he was saying like there were certain propositions that he was having, uh, or certain parties, things like that, like where it would impact even the people that he would have conversational with. So even his public relations, depending on the type of parties he went to, type of deals he took. And in my opinion, the question I do have to ask is what about the people that did write for Diddy, that did write for these super producers, that did write for like what why they don't have conversations like it's been funny red cafe used to be dumb close with um with fabulous right and mm. red cafe all of a sudden started writing with diddy then french montana and red cafe was cool and they was making music together and then all of a sudden i don't see red cafe no more ryan mm. leslie was on the scene but he was doing his independent thing and i was seeing him and all of a sudden I- I don't really see Ryan Leslie like that no more. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like all of these things look like this six degrees of separation. That is, there is the thing. You remember the clip with DJ Vlad with Nori talking about it? He was like, there is this like fork in the road where something is going to get leveraged. Mm-hmm. And depending on what type of thing that you have, either you're either going to be up in the beginning and you're going to falter or you're going to have to mm-hmm. take the long, long, long run. And if you make it, we're gonna come, we're gonna double back again and we're gonna see, and then we're gonna see if we could chop, you know what I mean? Like somehow, some way, like as, especially with people getting taxes, you know what I mean? Tax evasion, thing like that. Like somehow, some way, there's this check and balance where it doesn't look like it doesn't look like you're even making money, it looks like you're just getting a budget. I think, uh, I think to all right, so you made a couple points there that I wanted to, to um, talk about. Right. Um, you said that, uh, you know, why do people still go through these labels knowing like that people know the game, you know what I'm saying? Right. But as human beings, I feel like human beings are, have always been programmed to take the easier road. Right. And I think uh, I think a lot of people, a lot of people in the industry would probably love to be independent. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them probably would would love to not have uh, people deciding when they drop or when uh you know, what due dates they have to hit. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure, right. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure that's the case. But right. 
for a lot of them, they've probably figured the easier role would be to have somebody that can help you with marketing, somebody that can help you with promotion, somebody that can help you with, you know, your branding, your image, your, you know, booking venues, like getting your uh, stuff to DSPs, major mm-hmm. platforms, you know what I'm saying? Like all these things that as an independent artist, you have to think about are just now put on to somebody else you know what i'm saying you don't have to think about me anymore you know what i'm saying you can just focus on your art and as an independent artist myself that's been the big my biggest you know hurdle you know what i'm saying trying to promote myself you know what i'm saying by the way if you want to want to check out my music so uh, does the introvert on all streaming platforms you know what i'm saying um w-plug, w-plug. but you know as as an independent artist that's been something that you know i've had the most trouble with is trying to promote myself and if i I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? If if J. Cole's Dreamville came to me and was like, yo, we got a contract we want to offer you. I'm gonna sign that motherfucker, man. I'm gonna sign it. I'm signing, bro. What about OVO, man? I'm, what about OVO? OVO, oh, I mean, you, I mean, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Context, <laughs> man. It's it's me, bro. It's me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> OVO Dezzo's crazy. OVO I'm, I'm Dezzo's signing crazy. that joint for sure. I, it's not going to be great for my career because, you know, not not too many OVO artists are really popping. But, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, if I could get an OVO chain, I'm a rocket. You know what I'm Yo, saying? what happened to Roy Woods? I remember that was... I don't know what happened. <laughs> I know, I know party... Like, all I know Michael is party Jackson. next door is doing all right. I didn't know what type of, like, what type of... I didn't understand what... <laughs> What type of tempo yeah. he was on? All I he know had a couple of songs next... that was tough, but it's just ah. He had a couple of them. Um, yeah. but all I know is Party Next Door is doing all right, and um, and uh, they just signed Four Bats, the dude that uh, oh, okay. Okay. that uh, okay. yeah. So that's all I know. You know what I'm saying? That might so. that might make sense. That actually might make sense. Uh, it might flop. It might be a if he could turn it into a Quentin hey. Miller thing. That might be it. Might be tough. If you that's a fact, easy. Day. I'm a, I'm a definitely see, and that's the that's another thing, right? They throw these big ass contracts at you too right. when they when right. you're when you're going in for these labels, right. right? Bro, you're not gonna read all that, right? You know right. what I'm saying? Like right. they, they probably put in some fine fine print, like yo, we have your soul for the rest of your life, and right. and people right. won't know, you know what I'm saying? People they don't read Vorpanese, bro. They don't got a staff yeah, degree. Read, you know what I mean? They don't exactly. got exactly. You know what I mean? If you can't. Unless you can read Vorpanese, son, it's not for you. And to be fair, like my thing is also that that leads to my other point too. But the the main thing was the ENS thing. Like, if you guys take, get a chance, watch that ENS thing about how people is kind of get, you know, it's just a predatory behavior from child actors, things like that, connected to just grown adults where they're being leveraged for whether it be, you know, their morals, their principles, things of that nature, just to get to whatever is considered the next level, things of that nature. And obviously you can see the difference from one person that's grinding independently, getting to a certain audience to somebody that just gets propelled and out of nowhere and they just get to the top. Um, but the other thing I wanted to talk about too was um, that leads to the, the the point that you were talking about, Dezo, um, having someone that lo- knows how to do day-to-day operations, things of that nature. I think that's where a lot of people get lost in the sauce as well with that. I feel like people don't know how to do both. They don't know how to be uh, Pippin and Jordan at the same time. Like, work on your mm. craft. You can have a 10-artist mm. group. Hey, that's right? fire. But that's if fire, bro. you see someone catches flame, now you allow everybody else to hone in on a craft that can also make money for themselves. Case point, mm. right? Let's use this real quick for ex- a- example. This is free game real quick. If... You have a 10-man team that are all artists and they're all rappers, yes. Obviously, you guys are going to go get studio time, divide that up. Yeah, that's a good investment, blah, blah, blah. To everybody put out songs, you know, you grind and you do your thing. But depending on, obviously, whoever gets traction, there's going to be certain people that just have the voice and off the first song, you know that there's a difference in that. You can filter Mm -hmm. it out, whatever the case may be. But then from there, it's on everybody else working on the day-to-day to that way you're learning a skill at the same time and you're watching this you're watching that you're doing this but another one of your mans could be a video editor so now if he edits your videos fire and it gets start ticking you're going to be able to get work from everywhere else and now you're shooting for everybody else obviously 
if that person devotes themselves to doing that and putting the pressure on, you're still working on your music because you're getting studio time. You got to barter and trade. Whoever has opportunity here, you lend a little bit here. And then if you're able to, um, if somebody has more time that they could develop their skill as a video editor, now you have that person on your roster. If somebody else, you could be work on security. Boom. You go send somebody off. All right, boom. You go work this. You're, you're nine to five. Boom. You're still working on your craft because you're going to be with us. It's not like you're just going to be working or nine to five, but then you're going to be taking your security classes. Boom. Now you could be the security head of security for that guy. You feel what I'm saying? And now for the shows, booking for the show, he's going to be able to put you on your payroll. Let's say he do get a contract, uh, a distribution deal where now he's getting tour dates, things like that. Now you could put that security guy, your man, that's your artist. You could put him as your head of security and that way he can hire people and have his own business. So just in case this music shit don't work out, you guys mm -hmm. have other tools and other avenues that you guys can go to and still make bread. Boom. Another person could go and be a real estate person. Boom. Mm -hmm. You could work. Yo, yo, you're still, you're still going to get the opportunity to work and grind and do your thing. You just got to have that sense of, yo, we're all working to one thing. That's where ego come into that. You know what I mean? And you got to give everybody the opportunity to still do their thing. Now, if you see somebody's obviously, obviously got is better talented at the music thing is clicking you going to use common sense. That's what you talk, you communicate. You say, yo, look, he's doing this thing. They doing this thing. Yo, let them focus on that. We're going to do this. I see this is something I, I'm also interested. I can help this. That's going to be able to generate help um, the bigger goal. You get what I'm saying? Back mm. to the real estate person, right? Now that, that person is able to look for cribs, things like that, find places that you could turn into either Airbnbs to shoot videos. You get what I'm saying? Right. Video yeah. spots or... Things where if you have to go tour, things like that, you got Airbnb spots now. You don't even got, if you go to major cities, you got an Airbnb there. You got um in Atlanta, in New York, and you get what I'm saying? And you got that's that right. person that's handling that. That's the manager for that. He could be the housing mm -hmm. manager, boom, boom, boom. So whenever, if you got big groups, now you can make a content house. If you got, if you can make a content house, it's all free game. Yeah. I'm just saying. Fact, man. If but the, you, if the thing is, not a lot of people have that that kind of support group. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. That's like fair. that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Um, that's a, a lot. Point. Um, you know, and and if you do, then you know, more power to you, man. Like right. it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to have that kind of support group around you because right. you it's know, a mentality it's, it's a, thing, though. Like to be fair, like um, to have that conversation and to believe in the fact that even if I'm not working directly in music i'm working mm -hmm. around my man's that's doing their thing mm -hmm. if he doesn't get lost in the source in that and, and honestly it's really mainly to get distribution and be able mm -hmm. to be self-sufficient you can't right. be, you shouldn't have to hire outside people to help you run your bit who knows you better than your people Facts. right mm -hmm. <laughs> So put them in position and ideas that's going to help them first get money for themselves. And then that's mm. but also that's going to be, be beneficial for the business. Regardless, the thing about it is if the music don't pop or even if we fall out, I, I've been able to put you in a position that you're able to even eat for yourself. But you can't yeah. look at it like, yo, I'm only going to just rely on the music. You got to look at it like, yo, if I can't do this. Even if my man, he's still my man. So why not support him in the music? Do I think for that? And I'm going to do this. That's still going to be able to get me chicken because just being my homie, you're going to be able to put light on it through promotion, do this. Yo, this is my man. This is off the rip. Oh, who did your windows? Who did this? Who did that? You can have a moving company. You can have a this. Who's that? You can have, there's so many ideas off the star power and people, if one person click that y'all are using it wrong, what happens mm -hmm. is people are so, inf they want to get infected with clout so much that they want to yeah. be Jordan and they want to yeah. be Jordan too fast. Sometimes it's cool to be Pippin and Jordan at the same time. You're just going to be Jordan at your time. You just got to do it like that. A lot of people, they want the ball too early. You know what I mean? To take that first shot. Yeah, Your shot might be the fourth shot. You feel what I'm saying? It might be an awful offensive rebound and you get that, but it's, it's, you know, it's just... Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's also cool to be Kyle Corver. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just uh, exactly. post, up, post up in the corner, come off those curl screens, right. knock down your shots, man. You know what I'm saying? That's knock down your shots. Right. And I think we, we see it in like which is unfortunate, and it's like uh, I've, I've been seeing this, like, I don't even know how this get in my, into my algorithm. Actually, uh, yeah, it's been Fabio um, going through situations with, the, with his homies, and Meek Mill going through a situation with his homies, and my thing is, like, you guys, 
had like for this modern era pretty big opportunities and it looks like i hope that it looks like y'all not fumbling it to crash out like just to be like the big dog in it and i think y'all missing the whole perspective of putting your bands on and mm -hmm. putting things into perspective for them so that way they could be able to grow with you i think if you're able to just have a conversation with them and hopefully i think they, they hopefully they get it right because i think they had like as far as the sound of new york and philly they pretty holding it down for right now it's in terms of like what you what the outside world would relate it to right now obviously pop smoke would be like synonymous with that but as far as right now is it would be uh, fabio and meat bill for philly respectively um a lot of people feel different but i think for the most part um in the mainstream aspect you would associate it with them so i think it's kind of an example i was trying to make where like if all your mans can't make it in music and you don't feel like that, you got to have that conversation and say, yo, like, boom, I don't think it's going to be for you right now, but yo, do this while you work on the raps and you still going to get studio time. You're still going to get this, but do this, work on this and do that. That way I could put you on this payroll. I could put you to this connect. I could do this for you. So that way you're not just waiting for, you have to roll with me on tour dates and be my backup and like do be my opener and shit like that. If it's not working like that, just find other ways and put them in other positions but you got to make them see that it, this is going to be able to come back around and you got to give right. them the platform if they need it. You can't just be like, yo, I'm not going to give you the platform when you need it and, and dangle that opportunity in front of them. And that's what I think it forces people to be in that loner spot when people end up going higher and higher in ranks, you lose all your homies. Like it looks like y'all losing all your homies. This is insane. I ain't trying to do that. <laughs> can't, yeah. can, can never do that, bro. I yeah. Maybe sacrifice some friends. Anymore. Yeah, man, I'm not going to be, it doesn't even have to be with just friends, but just pe people in general, I think that's what kind of keeps you grounded and you get lost in the source sometimes. Don't get lost mm -hmm. in the source for the, to be the big dog. It's cool to be, like 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 Dezo said, it's cool to come off that screen and be the third option, come off that shot. You're still going to be eat, eat if you know how to leverage it the right way at the right time. Because you're going to end up being Jordan at the right time if you know how to mm -hmm. do it. Thanks, man. Wise words, man. Wise words. Uh appreciate that context um shoot man if that's if that's it for you that's it for me man yeah oh yeah that's a fact nah man also um, um you know you know the vibes um tapping the, there was a couple of um nba games i think with the knicks the knicks crashed um they they beat the no no the knicks lost to the nuggets right yeah michael porter jr they went crazy i think had 31 i think Jokic had 30 right if i'm not mistaken i think they both had 30 yeah um phoenix beat Jamal atlanta Murray, last night too Oh yeah, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jamal Murray twisted his ankle. Um, it, it didn't look like a bad sprain. It was just like he he walked it off, but he need ankle breaking. He, he need ankle Definitely braces, do. bro. Yeah, Definitely. like come on, son. Every time you fall, it's ah, 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 like every time it's just your ankle just doing this, bro. Just doing that, bro. Just, <laughs> come on, because yeah, uh, and, and he be making some tough shots. Shout out to bro. Mm -hmm. he is a tough shot maker. I know ticket bugged out when he said he he, he could have been if he was a title. Uh, he's better than Penny. That's that's insane, but because I think Penny's better. <laughs> but uh, um, Jamal Murray, he's nice. He's tough. He's tough. I always liked him since college. He's been he's been tough. Houston, and Calipari Houston, was at high price man. Yeah. Houston beat my Bulls uh, last night too, and now oh, they're on, they're on a seven game. Out. Yeah, they're on a he seven game win streak right now. Um, they competed for that playing man. Hey, Shout you know they dog, they're that dog in them, man. If they want that playing real bad, bro. Real Jelly bad. Green is taking turnaround threes. He is wilding everybody. Yo, shoot. Shout out to Jelly Green, man. I, I got nothing to say, man. Listen, man. Everybody giving him a hard time. It is what it is. Like, yo, listen. But salute to him having his family, having his kid. He hype. He doing it. He playing with confidence. He feel like he on top of the world. And hopefully mm -hmm. this translates. To me, I feel like he's very explosive. He's very talented. It was just learning how to get your shots, experience, how to get to your spots things like that and he's if he's he, if he got it he's figuring it out this boy's gonna be he's gonna be one of them ones man he's a star he's a star right he's a star yeah man um who oh um orlando orlando be somebody good too um the pelicans orlando the pelicans. pelicans yeah they smoked yeah, the pelicans actually. yeah it wasn't even and close was, man yo what was crazy was that Zion, don't get me wrong, he was able to, you know, get his look, but he wasn't, they were playing good defense on him, man. Paolo, yeah. I saw a couple of post-ups where they tried to get Zion on Paolo, and Paolo was handling 
He was doing his thing. Paulo was a big guy, bro. He's yeah, of course, pause. But <laughs> yeah, bro. yo, I, I'm I, I, low key. Like I said, a lot of people don't see it, but to me, I see Lamar Odom and Melo. I feel like if that mm. jump shot is, I think he's gonna be in between that aggressive mode. When he's aggressive, it's gonna look way more mellowish. But I feel like when he's passive, like I think he had a triple double, 21 mm -hmm. 10. I think if Lamar Odom is aggressive, he plays like he gives you, he can give you 25, 11, and 10. Like when Lamar Odom gets hot and he's shooting good, he be having some of those games. Like he be, I would say he's like a triple double, but he's capable of giving you a triple double when he's aggressive. And Paulo yeah, Zion, Zion, uh, Zion had a rough night, especially right. with like Paulo. Right. Like he he had twenty points on you know fifty three percent, but he had eight yeah, turnovers. It, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, his pace. Yeah, like, you could tell that they was bothering him. They were bothering. Him. He couldn't yeah, get to for his sure. Shots the way he wanted to. And and the thing is, you know, he was getting guarded by Paulo um, and Wendell. And then once yep. they they went out the game, now you got to deal with Jonathan Isaac. You know, what I'm right, saying? right. So it's like his job didn't get no easier. <laughs> his job right, didn't get no easier. That's insane. So. Yeah, the Pelicans, they've been doing their thing, though. They, they're still my the, my super dark horse. I got them and the Mavericks as my dark horse to get to the Western Conference Finals. I think they're actually going to go against each other. Um, and I think they're going to probably meet Boston. Uh, the Milwaukee, to me, is probably the dark horse of the East. A lot of people would be like, dark horse? I think a lot of people is going to write off the Bucks. Mm. Um, I think they a lot of people it. are kind of shaky on them anyway. Um, so I think if they could get it together, and they have been doing it, Giannis has been diving quicker more. it has been quicker mm -hmm. actions. Either Dame will pull and shoot, or he'll he'll dive and he'll be able to get those lanes and those passing windows to get those passes. Mm -hmm. That's easier for Dame. I think Dame's right. probing a little bit less, which I think he should he shouldn't do that so much. He should just get it and go, or just the simple reads. Don't try to hold the hold the ball, hold the ball, and probe and try to because the slow roll for Giannis they're loading up easier for Giannis. And I think he's not able to deal with it in those tight spaces. You got to give him like clear lanes so that we could just one jump move and get to his spots. Right. Yeah. All right, man. Well, that's going, that's going to do it for us at NSP, man. Um, this is no snooze button. You can find this content every Friday and Monday at yep. 9 a.m. Central or whatever that is your time, you know? Right. Also, um, tap into the JEB collab. It was super, super dope. Again, shout out to the fellas, dope. man. Bam, J Rob, um, early, um, Ari. They did they. It was Ox. It was a it was a dope time. It was super dope. It was last week. It was this week actually on Wednesday. Uh tapped in. Yep. We talked about a lot of things. Tyson, um, Jake Paul, um, uh the what else we talked about? We talked about um the migrant workers in LA with the policing. It was a lot, it was yeah. some dope content. Tap into that. Yeah, we talked about uh Jalen Green. Speaking of Jalen Green, we talked about him. Uh and uh Jay. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, so yeah, it was a bunch of dope conversations. You can find that on you know Big Ox Media's channel, uh, right here on this channel. Right. Um and yeah, you can catch us again uh tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. Uh we'll go right. be right back at it with another graveyard shift. And until then, man, make sure y'all stay safe, um, stay dangerous, and, you know, just look out for each other, man. Shout, shout out to the big girls and shout out to the slim girls, too. Sun, sundress season is upon us. Everybody tighten up. Everybody tighten up. Try not to get, try not to get pregnant out here, man. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Wrap it before you tap it. Right, right. Um, but, yeah, man. All right, guys. Stay safe.